All right. Hello. Uh, this is Rusifi. Thanks for coming to my channel. This is uh, my first time lapse drawing video and my first time doing a voiceover. So I'm incredibly awkward. And uh, just bear with me as I try to get through this. Today I'm drawing B. Arthur. B. Arthur was the star of Golden Girls, one of the stars, my favorite. She plays Dorothy Zvornak. Love her to death. She was at the top of my list for people I want to draw in 2020. I just find her so hilarious. I think that she's got all the best insults, all the best comebacks, one-liners. She's got like the greatest sassy attitude. Um, yeah, she you just can't beat her on the, on that show. There's definitely this harsh quality to her that you can't recreate. It's very distinctive to be Arthur. And it's something that I truly admire. So for quite some time now, I've been uh, starting a lot of my drawings with pastel and then finishing them off with colored pencil. I just find that uh, with, with the pastels, you can cover a lot of space and block in large areas a lot faster than you would with just um, creating a base from colored pencils. And then the colored pencils are just great for uh, small details, um, just getting in precise lines the way that I personally wouldn't be able to with pastels. Um, they're great for layering, um, if you're trying to get a nice blend, a smooth transition from one color to another. Pastels are good are good for blending too, but I just find if you're doing small details, the colored pencils are awesome. The colored pencils I'm using are by Faber Castell Polychromos, and I also use Pan Pastels. One thing I learned that I absolutely admire about her, about B. Arthur, is she opened up her own um, homeless youth residence for uh, LGBT kids. Uh, it's called the B. Arthur Residence in Manhattan, New York. I just found that to be very commendable. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the drawing process. It's um, adding the little highlights after you're done, almost done blending the skin tones and uh, just, yeah, adding those little pops of highlight at the very end is just very satisfying, especially after a long period of just not being sure if your drawing is coming together. You're, you're looking at it and it's just 
not exactly how you picture it. But as soon as you add those highlights and, you know, refine some shadows, it just all comes together at once. It's, uh, it's a good feeling. a perfect example of the pan pastels in use um, they're just excellent for like I said before just blocking in colors and getting a great base to work from uh, it's it's really improved the way I go about my drawings um, it makes it so much quicker just the thought of uh, fighting with colored pencils to get a nice blend in the background and just knowing how long that would take just makes me appreciate the pan pastels so much more. And at the last minute, I decided to add this uh, Art Deco inspired border. I think it came out really nice and so that completes uh, this time lapse. I hope you I hope you liked it. Uh, there's B. Arthur for you. Thank you for being a friend. Yikes. <laughs>